Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Photo Nation Photoshop tutorial. Hey, today we're going to do a really simple project. Everybody say, man, Photoshop is so difficult to use. Well, Photoshop is the industry standard. Probably one of the best programs to use. I mean, I love using it. I started maybe, you know, 20 years ago using Adobe Photoshop. And yes, I can do some advanced stuff, but I see everybody on, you know, doing the advanced stuff. And I just wanted to show that Photoshop can do simple stuff also and really fun stuff. So I'm probably going to do a series of videos just showing simple stuff. And so today we're going to do what's called a picture in a picture. Just something really simple. It doesn't take you long to do. It's really easy. It's really fun. So let's get started. You are entering Photo Nation. Alright, so I have the picture that I want to put a picture in. You see the picture here. It has a picture of a bride and a groom there. And I blurred them out because that's not the picture I want to use. I want to actually add a different picture to this frame. And so what I'm going to do is go here and open up the picture that I want to put in it. So you have to know where your pictures are. And I'm going to use this picture. And I'm going to say open and it comes up so now I have this picture and I want to put it inside of this picture as if you know I took the picture like that so the first step you have to do is make sure you're highlighted on this picture which is this one and next you want to go and grab your polygonal lasso tool I mean they have the lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool those are pretty cool and I'll probably use those in another video but today we're just going to do the polygonal lasso tool because we're going to make a selection so we come here where we want it left click and just drag it over click left click to, to turn and bring it down left click and bring it over left click and bring it up now you see the little it's hard to see but can you see the little circle that means that the selection is completed but if you can't find it and it and it's right there and you just can't find it just hit enter and it will complete itself so now we have that selected so now let's come over here and this is the picture we want to put inside of this picture so we have this picture selected and we want to put this picture inside of that selection so we're going to make sure we're on this picture we're going to highlight that picture right and the next thing we do is we need to copy this picture so in order to copy this picture you have to go to select all and you see it made this, the selections are what we call marching ants around the picture so it's selected it now we just have to copy it so we go to edit and copy and then what it does is you don't see anything happen but it just copied that picture into the Photoshop memory so now we're pretty much done with this picture so come back here and we have our selections here and then we go to edit now you would think we say paste but if you did that let's just do it this is not right but let's just do it and it paste the picture on top well, that is not what we want so let's just step back in our history we have our selection it's it still should be in memory so edit paste special and this time you want to go to paste into once you click that the picture just pops up in there and make sure you're on your move too because you can move it around and pretty much put it where you want it but let's I mean <laughs> actually that's pretty cool but what we're gonna do is make it smaller so what you do is you hit control or command T and just move it till you can find a corner see the corners coming up there and we just drag it down and bring it up and we just keep doing that until you know we pretty much have it where we want it I'm gonna bring it down just a little more 
and maybe put it about right there. So that looks pretty good to me. So what we, we do now is hit the check to complete it. And it's done. So now you have your picture in a picture. So that was the original picture that was there. And I've just added that picture. Now you can be through, you could be done right there, or you could actually change the background. So the background color. So if you, I think black is appropriate for this picture, but let's just play around. Let's make it the gray that's back here. Let's, let's do that. And before you can do that, you have to create a new layer because you want to have total control. So come right here. That would create a new layer. Now, if you didn't know any better, you would actually put the color here and it's on top and it should be at the bottom because it's the background, it's in the back, so it should be at the bottom. But let's just do it. Let's just do it here and see. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to grab the maybe the lighter part of that background and I want it even lighter maybe. I don't want the purple too much. I'm going to stay closer to the gray. We want to stay closer to the gray. All right, I'm going to hit OK once you get what you want. Now, we're on that new layer. And if I turn the eyeballs on and off, you don't see anything happen. It's just a blank layer. It's sitting on top of everything. And once I grab my paint bucket and just click, it's going to fill that layer. Let's do it. So it filled that layer up with gray. But like I said earlier, it's not in the proper position. It needs to be at the bottom. So we could drag it down once. And then we need to drag it down one more because it needs to be the background, the back. So there you have it. So let's say you wanted a different color. Just make sure you're selected on the background. And let's go and get, I don't know, a different color. I mean, you can decide. Let's get her skin tone. And let's go, I'm gonna stick maybe with the lighter part of her skin tone. And I'm gonna say, okay. And long as I'm on this layer, which is our new layer, and if you wanted to name it, you could double click and you can say background or backdrop or back. Just so you know it and just click anywhere. So we know that that's where our colors are going to be in the back. So let's grab a different color. We've already grabbed her skin tone. So let's just put that in there. So now we have a skin tone. So it's pretty cool. You can do pretty much anything you want. And let's say I wanted to put a stroke here. I'm going to go back and go back to that layer. So now I'm on the main layer. <clears throat> if I come down here to FX and go to stroke. See the stroke on it? I don't like that color. Let's change that stroke to maybe a black right hit OK now I can change the size of that stroke and I'm just gonna make it really small here maybe there and hit OK so now I, I have every thing set up like I want here's my background color here's the frame and there's the image. So you see, it's just a fun little way of doing it. And I can change that background any color I want it. So let's go back. Let's change it back to black. Now we're going to lose our stroke, but we'll change that later. So let's just switch it back to black. Get our paint bucket. We're just having fun with it. So what color you think it should be? We can make it any color in the rainbow we want. Any color of the rainbow. So we're going to leave it black. And we're going to come over here to the actual frame and put a stroke around that frame. Well, we have a stroke. It's just black. So if we change that stroke to huh, 
red. A white. I'm gonna go with red, just for giggles. And the red is so bright, so I'm just gonna make it just a little smaller here. Now you can put it inside, outside, or center. Just what you, whatever you think works best as you're looking at it, as you're changing it, you can see it. And once you're satisfied with it, you hit OK. Now it's a done deal. Now you have to save it. So what I'm going to do, I want to save it with all of these layers open so I can come back and edit it later. The only way you can come back and edit it later is to save it as a PSD or Photoshop file because once you flatten it then you, you can't edit it anymore. So before I flatten it, I'm going to save it as a Photoshop file and I'm going to show you how. So we're going to go to File, Save As. Now you have to tell it where you want it to save it as. I'm going to save it in my pictures. Um, my picture in the picture folder and here's a name I'm just gonna call it fixed you can put whatever name you want to put it and it's gonna save it as a PSD or Photoshop file so I can come back later and edit it and I'll show you so let's just hit save and hit OK now I'm gonna actually close this just so I can go back to that Photoshop file. File, open. So if you came back another day, two or three days later, and you just have to know where your images are, and here it is, we called it fixed. So I'm just gonna open that up in Photoshop. And as you can see, all of the layers are still there and still open, and I can edit those layers and do whatever it is I wanna do with them. It's pretty cool. But then once you wanna flatten the layers you know in case you wanted to have it printed or something like that here's how you do that you go to file save as and I'm gonna save it as a copy now I don't want it to be a Photoshop file I want it to be a flattened layer all the layers to be in one for printing so I'm gonna change my document type and I'm going to save it as a JPEG and there's a variety of things you can save PNG you know or whatever uh, GIF or whatever but I'm going to save it as a JPEG and all I have to do I want it in that folder so I'm going to hit save now here's the quality I always keep the quality at 12 and hit OK so if we go back to where I saved it at it's right here it's these two here's the Photoshop file with all the layers and here's the flattened one right which is the JPEG but let's open it in Photoshop I'm just gonna go open with Photoshop and this it opens it in Photoshop and as you can see all of the layers are flattened because I saved it as a JPEG okay and then there's your original so let's do another one I don't want to save changes so I'm gonna say no I don't need this one I can say no so let's open another let's do another one let's do let's do one of my favorites here uh, open I'm gonna bring in flowers I'm going to hold control and bring in the laptop here. So we're going to bring those two pictures in. All right? All right, remember the process. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab two here and we're going to come here. Click once, bring it over. And it works on anything you could make a selection in click bring it down click bring it over and if you mess up and click in the wrong place and it start going crazy on you just hit backspace and back up see that 
backspace and just back up. So I'm going to continue. And one more. And you see my little circle that comes up that completes it. Or if you don't see the little circle, just hit enter and it'll complete it for you. So we have it selected. So we're going to go to our flower here. And I'm just going to make it larger. Remember how to copy it? We go to select all. It makes a selection. We go to edit, copy. And so it's copied in the memory now. I don't need it anymore. We come back to our selection and we go to edit. Don't do paste. Remember do paste special and paste into. All right, so it brings it in there. I'm gonna make sure I'm on my move tool just so I can move it around. So I can put it wherever I want. Isn't that pretty cool? Now, if I want to make it smaller and size it, I hit Control or Command T. Find my corners. And if I wanted it smaller, I could actually rotate it if I wanted to. And let's bring it a little larger. Click. Hit my check mark. And it's done. Remember, you can go to File, Save As, Photoshop File, and then File, Save As JPEG. And it's a done deal. Okay, let's just do one more. Make sure you got it down. It's fairly easy to do so I'm not gonna keep that one let's do one more so we're gonna grab another picture we're gonna do one more let's do this billboard here I'm just gonna double click here to make it larger and let's find a picture that we can put in there so let's go to file open let's decide what other picture we want to put in there what about this one since it's a horizontal billboard let's get a horizontal picture okay so here's our picture so remember what you remember what you're supposed to do you're going to go copy this picture so you go to select all remember it selects it then you have to go to edit copy to copy it into memory then you come over here and I did it a little differently this time I copied the picture first now I'm gonna make the selection you could do it either way it doesn't matter we're gonna get the polygon of lasso too and I'm just gonna do the exact same thing click come here click come here and click so we have our selection and we already have our picture copied in the memory so only thing we have to do is go to edit just remember don't do paste do paste special paste into and there's your picture and I'm just gonna grab my move tool so I can just move it around and find a corner I'm gonna hit control or command T just make it smaller just kind of so it would fit. I mean, you be the judge of, you know, what size you want it. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to bring it out to cover the entire billboard. All right. And I'm going to angle it just a tad. So let's say that's where I want it. Bam. There you have it. So you see, there are some fun things you can do in Photoshop. Everything doesn't have to be advanced or really difficult. You can just really have fun in Photoshop. Should we do one more? You already know how to save it. Let's save it anyway. File, save as. We wanna keep the layers open, so we're gonna save it as a Photoshop file. And we hit save right and if I want to flatten the image 
to make it a JPEG, I go to File, Save as Copy. So you change it to a JPEG, right? Hit Save and hit OK. And so if we go back just to look at it, here's our original, then our Photoshop file with all the layers, and here's our flattened JPEG copy. So it's pretty cool. All right, let's do one more. Let's see what we're gonna do now. So we don't need these pictures, so I can close them. And I do not have to save changes because we've already saved them. So let's go find another picture to bring in. And let's get what's called the senior box here. <laughs> and now the senior box, I already have all of the layers. I'm just gonna click on them and just turn off some of the layers here. At least those two layers. If you can see over here, I already have layers there. I already have pictures that's there. And this is what it, this is what it was, right? But we're just gonna turn those layers off and we're gonna put our own pictures in there. So just so you can see it one more time. All right, so we're gonna turn this layer off. We're gonna turn this layer off. We're gonna turn our text off. Let's turn that off. So it's the same procedure, just a different picture. So we just have to bring in a couple of pictures. File, open, and let's just bring in, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna bring in this picture and maybe this picture. Open it up in Photoshop. Only thing we have to do is work with them just, just kind of one at a time. So let's come back to this picture, right? And I'm gonna click here and I wanna affect this picture and make a selection there. So you can see it's that picture or it's that layer. So I wanna make sure I'm on that layer and get your polygonal lasso tool and just do the same thing. Make your selection, right? It's going crazy on me, so let's see. We can get control over it again. Come here, and when you want to turn, just click and turn. Click and turn. And it's selected. Right? And you want to do them one at a time. So you got that one selected. So let's come here and decide which picture we want first. I think this one is. We're gonna put this one first. So remember, make sure you highlight it on that picture. You have to select it and copy it. Select all, that selects it. Then all we have to do is go to edit. Remember, copy. So now it's copied in the memory. I don't need it anymore. We come back and highlight this picture. We go to edit. Paste special, paste in two. And bam, it puts it there. I'm gonna grab the move tool and we can, I mean, that looks nice right there, but if I go Control T or Command T, Control T is for PC, Command T is for the Mac, and just drag it down until we get it pretty much where we want it. Let's bring it down just a little more here. All right, I need to go up just a little more. And once you get it where you want, you hit, hit the button. Now, if you didn't want the yellow on top, you just make sure you make your selection above that yellow line and you won't see it. But just for GP right now and for time I'm gonna leave it just like that so let's come over here so next you come in make sure you're on your move to you highlight the next one so here's the next one right 
So you go and get your Polygonal Lasso 2 again. I'm going to go just above. And I'm going to come there. And when you're taking your time, you can really get it right. And I'm going to turn. And I have it selected. So let's come over here. Let's come here. And we're going to put this picture in now. So we go select all to select it. Edit, copy to put it in memory. Come back here and go edit, paste special, paste into. And bam. Make sure you're on your move tool. Move it where you want. Control or Command T. So it's the same process over and over again. I mean, you don't have to do anything new. It's pretty much the same thing over and over and over. So we're just going to bring it over. Bring it down just a little more. And then you just kind of put it where, you know, where you want it. All right, let's say that's how I want it. And bam. So this is what I call a senior box. I used to use this a lot for my seniors. Um, they, <laughs> you know, back in the day, they loved this type of stuff. And so I can go in and now, you know, add the text. Class of 2024. Of course, she is not a senior, but she's on the front cover of my book, Mastering Light. So I can add the text in just for time. I've already have it there. Um, if you're not sure how to put that, I did a video as uh, Photoshop 101 to basic it kind of show you how to do all of those things. And so let's bring this in. Let's bring in another layer here. Now, this is not her name. So what I'm going to do is grab my text tool. And we're going to change it and actually put her name in there. And hit the check mark. And we're done. But because I have, you know, total control over this name, I can command or control T it if I wanted to. And I can... You know, make it smaller. I don't want it that small. About here. And I can move it here. Hit the check mark. Now, another video I did is how to make a your signature out of a stamp. And so I'm going to grab, I'm going to hit B on my keyboard, which is right here, the brush tool. And if I hit the drop down menu, I have all of my brushes that I created and let's find one uh, let's do photo nation so just click here anywhere just to close it and you see it's photo nation now remember you need to put it on its own layer so you can have now if I just stamp it it's there I can't do anything with it I can't size it I can't move it I can't do anything but make sure you put it where you want but let's step back one and so if I create a new layer first and I stamp it on that new layer, I can use, I can size it beforehand by using the bracket keys to the right of the letter P on your keyboard. See, I can make it larger or smaller. Or I can size it after the fact. So let's just go ahead and click it. Photo Nation. So we got Photo Nation there. Because it's on its own layer, I have total control. The only thing you have to do is the step back one. Only thing you have to do is select a color first. Let's say I wanted it my favorite gold. And now I've selected gold. So now when I when I stamp it, we're gonna put this one in the trash just because we're gonna create a new layer. And so now when I stamp it, it's gonna be gold. See, it's in go. 
So, because I have total control over it, I can go Control Command T. I can make it smaller. I can bring it down in the corner. And there you have it. Photoshop is an industry standard. I mean, it can do everything. It can do all of the advanced stuff. So Photoshop is can be very technical and it can be very easy and fun. So here I just showed you a few ways that you can just have fun with Photoshop. So I'll probably be doing a series of just easy tutorials just to show you that we can have fun and we'll go up to more advanced. So until the next time, we'll see you in the next one. Later.